book. Cute. Wow, so many so many. many. so many people have been here. 37. Yes. Iban, you? Yeah. Family. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. Nice. We cannot believe <laughs> how welcoming you are. Mm -hmm. You are very, very friendly people. Yes. You're always happy. Yes. And give us lots of toi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Best Malaysian hospitality, yeah. beautiful nature, yes, yes, yeah. crazy jungle tracks, yeah. yeah, and best tour guy in the world, Danny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will never forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never we forget. promise to come back. We oh, come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Misha. Misha. UK. England. Yeah. England. England. Misha. UK. England. And Justina. Justina. Lithuania uh, slash England. <laughs> we think that this is fried pancakes, egg, noodle, rice, and banana fritters. Whoa. So this is our last morning here, guys. Last half of the day. So after the breakfast, we might go and watch the blowpipe show um, and then probably go and have a look at their handcrafts and I think hit the road then, go on the boat, uh, back to the van yeah. and back to Kuching. Because the journey is about five to six hours from here, Yeah. so it's a long, long drive ahead, yeah. isn't it? off to see some handicrafts. Yeah. Uh, our lady Doreen has yeah. convinced us to go to her shop. They will sell all of these items and it's a way of making money. And it's really nice stuff actually. I think we'll come away with something. Very nice stuff. Definitely yeah, a bracelet. What are you thinking then Justina? Maybe like a bracelet. I, I would say a bracelet, yeah. yeah. Maybe like one for the arm, one for the leg. Oh really? You're going like in an arm. I've come away with this. I like it. It's nice. What's Justina yeah. got? This one. Oh, that's nice. And then Justina's styling it out with this little leg bracelet. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Cute. Looks really nice. Yeah, cute. You look cute. You're like an Iban lady now. Iban lady, yeah. Just need a sarong. Sarong is their traditional outfit that they wear when they walk around the house. And they were laughing because they said David Beckham made it famous around the world. Sarong. Yeah, he was wearing it, wasn't it? And he was yeah. rocking it. He was rocking yeah. it. That was like early 2000s. Mm -hmm. It made all the newspapers and everyone makes jokes here. It's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Bless. All right, yes. so what are we doing? Getting ready, kind of? And yeah, let's get ready and go watch the blowpipe show. If they're doing it, they might not be doing it. I think they will. They will? Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Let's get ready. I feel rough. So this is back at our host. He's been cooking for us, looking after us. And he's going to be showing us how to use a blowpipe. Wow, that oh. is... <laughs> oh, it's oh, inside. Oh, look. Oh. 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 But you have to be careful. People yeah. walking, careful. <laughs> Isn't it? Just going for a Very cup of tea dangerous. and then like a needle in the neck. Isn't it? Okay. Me? Mm -hmm. Already, that's Already? it. Oh God. I'm scared. Be careful with the children. Children there. Justina here. Oh. Oh, yeah. You got it? got it? Where did you get yeah. it? On the side. Did the you? Side. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Now it's your turn. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, you got it. Did I? I Let's have I... a look. Where is it? Oh, okay, okay. Not in the target. Mine's this one. I'll try again. Do you use this for hunting? Hunting animals. Hunting. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, good. Nice. Very close to the middle, yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? Look at this. You just planted that there. No. Yeah. I blew it out. 
Oh, you got this? Yes, look, right on the side of the blue tiger. Well then. And then this one, not so great. <laughs> That's okay, because I, I got mine on the beam, yeah. so. You definitely are the blowpipe At least queen. I'm in, in, in the board, you know? Yeah. I got it. Awesome. High five. Hoo ha! Hoo ha! Morning, Gary. Hello. Daddy shark do 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 Grandma shark. <laughs> Guys, so we're packing up our things and we're heading to the boat where it's going to take us to the mainland or the way to get to Kaching. Thoughts and feelings? Yeah, really good. Sad to leave this family. Uh, they've been great hosting us and cooking for us and taking care of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure we'll come back here. Maybe with our families. Who knows? Yeah, I would love to bring so many people here yeah. actually. Yeah. Because um, yeah, it's just been an incredible experience. Yeah. Thank you so much for having okay. us. Yes. For cooking. Yeah. For cleaning. Oh. For being happy. Yeah. Thank you yes, very much. Thank you. We'll see you next well, year. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Doreen. Bye. See ya. Come. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Come bye bye. <laughs> bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. One more. One more. Oh, she ran away. Honey, how's it going? Good. Yeah. Happy. Big smiles. Where's Gary? I want to say goodbye to Gary. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So that's it then. That's it. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. See bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, kitties. Bye bye. bye. High five. Bye. High five. Thank you. <laughs> High five. Yeah. High five. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. See you. Bye bye. Bye. It's really weird to be leaving, actually. But there it is. Long house behind. And yeah, it's a pretty long journey to get back and to ever come back again. So uh, we're definitely thinking of coming next year though. It'd be great, especially for the um, Gawai Festival, which is their new year where they have loads of dancing, twerk of course, food, massive celebration. So we would love to be able to come back for that. And we have already been invited, which is really nice. Oh yeah, taco. Taco. Bye. Lovely to have met you. <laughs> Goodbye. Good Be good at school, okay? Enjoy <laughs> school. Yes. So we're getting on one of these boats. We're going up the river and out of the Batang Eye region. Um, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Yeah, You've yeah. been so lovely. Yeah, so Thank you for your dancing, especially. Yeah, it's been yeah. amazing. Yes, everything. Yeah. And we'll see you in June, maybe next year, next year yeah. for the back. celebration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank baby, you so you much. Another baby? Your wife? Another baby? No? <laughs> no. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Yeah. Hoo ha! I'm gonna miss doing that. Hoo yeah. ha! Mm. That's it. Bye bye.
parking spot as we were on the way to the Ibn house. This time it seems to be really, really busy. It's a public holiday. It's a public today. holiday, yes. Thank you. Oh, look, some street cupping. Oh wow, that can't be relaxing, can it? Oh. Okay guys, so we're back from the longhouse from Batang Ai. Um, it's actually the next day as yesterday we came back at around 4 p.m. We had to recharge all of our cameras and everything and mm. we were super tired as well. Yeah. So we didn't want to um, share our experiences when like tired and exhausted and yeah. looking awful. <laughs> um, so this is the next day and we just want to quickly to round this video up and um, share our true thoughts and feelings. Yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, on reflection, one of the best experiences of my life, mm -hmm. I'd say second to when I climbed Mount Everest Base Camp, mm -hmm. um, because you just don't get these experiences often in your life. I mean, true. we stayed with a tribe of 37 families in the jungle, completely cut off from all of the modern technologies yeah living off the land if i was to go there and if i was left there by myself i would have no skills of surviving there it just yeah i, I wouldn't know like what to pick what to use but they know it they know they, they know, know everything yeah. like they've they've cultivated this lifestyle so they can be self-sufficient in True. the jungle and True. like us coming from such a modern environment back in our hometown home city we're not used to it i mean yeah we we were just bewildered like we're like wow you you picked that or you caught that earlier in the river and now you're eating it yeah and the the um. best part of it is that the food that we ate was actually one of the best foods so that we ever good. had and it's just made so simply with yeah. simple tools uh with you know simple ingredients mm. and it's actually one of our best meals that well for me i've ever had actually more and more as we're talking about being minimalist mm -hmm. i think just going there just it just all makes it sense all, really yeah, i mean you, you don't need a lot to survive the facilities were also very very simple mm -hmm. for showering you'd use like the fresh cold water from the mountains mm -hmm. had a generator for anything electronic that they may have mm -hmm. actually most families had tvs and stereos and stuff like that so um more than what i expected actually i didn't didn't expect them to have such yeah. big TVs and watching DVDs or anything. So what would you say was your favorite experience about staying there? Oh, if I could pick, I would say everything, but you can't. if I have to be very specific, I would yeah. say interacting with children. For me, I love children, um, even though I've never had any brothers or sisters and I've barely had any like small cousins, I've always been drawn into like cute little children. Yeah. So I think I really enjoy like playing with them and teaching them and um, doing all sorts of exercises and dancing and singing with them. And what about you? What did you enjoy the most? I actually enjoyed watching you <laughs> eat a saga worm right from the tree. That was your favorite experience? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah I mean, I enjoyed watching you do that, but my favorite experience, um, uh, I enjoyed watching the, the guys fishing. Because oh, I've right. never seen people fish like that. Literally, yeah. with a net. on a boat, they literally look into the water, they see a school of fish, drop the net, and then literally pull it out. And in a few seconds. In a few seconds. It's so quick. Yeah. It was so interesting to observe. Do you miss anything being at the longhouse that you would have in your day to day life? Nope. Really? Yeah. Did you? I missed, I'm going to be honest, I missed. Being able to sleep. <laughs> oh, I didn't sleep very well. For me, it's not a problem at all. You, I mean, I think this comes down to our to your sleeping pattern. Exactly, sleeping but pattern. But I, I really, there were so many noises because it's such a community place and so many families are living under one roof. 
there was just so many noises throughout the night. Um, there was a cat fight. There was <laughs> at three thirty at night. Three thirty. Yeah. Um, the the floorboards were creaking. Um, there was children, children were running around, running around, and you can and hear every single creak <laughs> every whilst you're creak. trying to sleep. And um, there was the uh, natural alarm clock, which was the cock rules in yeah. the morning at five a.m. We should actually invest in a cock rule because <laughs> when the cock rule went off at the longhouse. We got up. There's no away. going back. Like you don't fall asleep no, again. It was like, right, it's so loud. I work for now. That's it. So it so we should funny. like grab one of these kampong <laughs> cockerels and so. take it with us to the hotel <laughs> and use that as our alarm. alarm. <laughs> and then cook it for dinner. <laughs> Joking. Gosh. Joking. So for now, thank you so much to Paradesa Borneo, guys. You've been amazing. Uh, we cannot be thankful enough for this amazing experience. Mm. We will continue talking about this to all of our family and friends and yeah. our viewers because seriously like experiencing the indigenous families is it's a must do whilst in Borneo isn't it's, it? It is a must for everyone. Yeah. Everyone must see other people living differently. I yeah. think that's what brings people closer together. Yeah. It's so important. Really hope you enjoyed this series. If you did make sure to let us know by liking this video, sharing it with your friends and make sure you subscribe to us because we have so many adventures coming on this channel. Don't worry it's never ending guys. <laughs> And as always, cheers, cheers to freedom! freedom. Woo.